Okay, let's take a look at how we create a project from scratch. So if we go to File here, we can go to New, and we're going to go to Embed Project. Now we have example projects here we can pull up, so we're just going to click here. And the first bunch here are Embed OS 6, there's Embed OS 5, and down at the bottom we have Embed OS 2. So we're going to bring up our Embed OS example Blinky. We can either initialize this project as a Git repository or not, but we're going to make this an active project. So we're just going to say Add Project. And it's going to come up with this here, which is fine, but we want to look at our main.cpp. Now we've got our include embed.h, which is pretty standard. And we've got this number sign define blinking rate, and we're going to get rid of that just to make it a little bit easier to follow. And we're going to take that number that's here, and where it says blinking rate here, we're just going to put in 500 ms for milliseconds. And then what we're also going to do is we're going to change this coding around just a little bit. We're going to say lead equals, and then we're going to put in here a zero. And then we're going to copy both of these lines here. Control C, and then we're going to hit Control V back here. And uh, what we're going to do is have lead equals zero and lead equals one. And we'll see why that is shortly. And to understand how this code works, first of all, digital out LED. If we take a look here, we can see that LED one is a red lead. LED2 is our green, and LED3 is our blue LED. And these are generic names that will work on all embed-enabled boards, no matter what they are. Uh, LED1, LED2, LED3, all uppercase. And then we have specific things here for our Freedom K64. Port B, pin 22 for the red LED. Port E, pin 26 for our green LED. And port B, pin 21 for our blue LED. And we'll see that as we start stepping through some of our code. As far as our numbers of 0 and 1. 0 represents 0 volts, and 1 represents 3.3 .3 volts. Let's take a look at our LED interface here. What we have here is 3.3 .3 volts going into our RGB LED. So if we have 3.3 .3 volts coming in here, and if we happen to have 3.3 .3 volts port B22, there's got to be no current flow and the LED will be off. But if we have 3.3 .3 volts coming in and we have ground here, then the ground is going to make sure that the LED is on because we have 3.3 .3 volts to ground it, and this LED here will be turned on. So that's why we've got our 1 and our 0 here. Now let's put in some comments to remind us of that. So let's put in comment turn on red LED. And down here we'll just put in turn off red LED. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and trace through this by actually just doing our debug here. Now before doing our debugging, we don't really need this call stack, so I'm just going to right mouse click and hide that. And I'm also going to go down here to registers, right mouse click and hide that. And basically this is all we really need to do any kind of debugging that we want to do. I'm going to say step into, and right now it's on the digital out here. And I'm going to say step into again. And you notice when we go in here, there's something called the hardware abstraction layer that goes through every detail of what's going on under the hood and how this works. But the most important thing that we've got here is that the pin that we're talking about here is port B pin 22, which is where our red LED is connected as we saw before. Now if we step out, notice over here now that we've got our red LED turned on. When we run our code here, it's just going to flash our red LED. But it's interesting when we hit our digital out here, it actually turned it on before we got in here. Let's take a look at that in a little more detail again. Our pause, and then we reset our code here. Let's go through that again. So we hit this. We can see right away our red LED is on before we actually turn it on here. And as we step over this, the red LED goes on again. This thread is a way to actually waste time, and it's uh, wasting 500 milliseconds. If we step over that, and then we say LED equals 1, boom, and it's off, and that's how we turn it on and off. So just running it is going to show us flashing on and off, and that's how our code here works. Now we're going to make some changes, but before we make our changes, the first thing we have to do is actually stop this. We can't make any changes while we're in our debug. We have to go back to here to actually put in some changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more digital outs. Notice it's capital D, capital O, and I'm going to call this LED1. And I'm going to say, let's make that be LED2. And before we forget, let's put in what LED1 was up here. Red LED. This is our green LED. And finally down here, let's make this LED2. LED3. And this will be our blue LED. Now these things here, LED1, LED2, LED3, as we talked about before, are standard for all microcontroller boards 
that are embed enabled. So let's try going through this again. Let's set this up and you'll see that there's some slight differences that are important as we go through here because every time we're going to hit a digital out, in this case, it's going to turn on a red LED. As soon as we do this, it's going to turn, as we'll see, on our green LED, which is going to be interesting. And then finally, when we do this one, it's going to turn on our blue LED. And that can be a bit of an issue. So let's take a look and see what that's going to do and how it's going to look. So let's step over this and step into. Let's step out. And again, you can see that we've got red here. Let's step into this one. Let's step out. But one of the things you're going to see now that this is yellow. It's not green. And the reason for this, this is red mixed with green which is going to give us our yellow color here and step into one more time. And we can find here now that the blue pin is port B pin 21. And if we step out right now, we see that this is white because red, green, and blue all together make white. And if we were to run our program now, we're going to get some interesting things. Let's take a look and see what it's going to do. It's changing all sorts of colors here. It's not just flashing red on and off. So we're going to have to see how to figure that out and make it work properly. So let's pause again. Let's reset and let's go back and change your code. And we're going to do here after last digital out is we're going to put in LED equals LED one equals LED two equals one. And the comment that we're going to put in here is shut off all LEDs. Now this is going to be interesting and we'll see. Let's try and run our debug screen and see how this is going to make things a little different. And this is going to be similar to something you may see on a lab test. And because these colors are actually going to change in a certain manner, as we'll see. And you're going to need to be able to use the debug to be able to see how those colors actually get changed. So let's step over. And again, we have our red here. Let's step over again. This time we have yellow. Let's step over again. And this time we have white again. Now let's continue on. Let's step into our code here. And notice they all went out very quickly. And that's not what we want. Let's go back here and set a breakpoint at line 18. Let's reset our code back here. And let's do that again. So if we run to our breakpoint, we can see that we have now it's white. Let's try doing a step into. So if I do a step into and step out, it turned yellow. Let's do a step into and step out. It turned red. Let's do a step into and step out and it went out. So this is the order and it should make some sort of sense because with red, green, and blue all on, you get white. If you take out this one, which is blue, you get red and green, which is yellow, and then finally the red will go out. So it depends on what order you put these in. This goes out first, this goes out second, this goes out last. And so you should be able to figure that out fairly easily. Now, let's take a look at something else. There's some other standard ways of doing this as well. I can say LED, capitalized, underscore RED. I can say for this one, LED underscore green. And these are all standard ways as well as LED 1, LED 2, LED 3 of doing exactly the same thing. But again, to see any changes we're going to have to get out of here, we're going to have to go through this process again to do our debugging and come back and take a look. But if we run it, you're going to see exactly the same effect.